The Globus data is available to the public through the Copernicus Climate Data Store. Here you can look at the data, download it or even build your own applications. The easiest way to find it is to go to the webpage of the Copernicus Climate Data Store and then type in, for example, flood. In this case, I will find all of the data sets that has to do with flood in some shape or form. A bit further down here, you will find the Copernicus Glofus forecast data. And I'm going to go to that page now to show you how it works. First of all, you've seen an overview of the data, which is an introduction to the data and to the system itself. A bit further down, you will see a more detailed data description where you can get technical details of the data, for example, the coverage, resolution, and, and so on. Then you will find the main variables. In this case, we have river discharge covered globally in, from the global system. You will see the description of it here, the definition of it. You will also find some related variables. In this case, we have the upstream area, which is the very important static data to use together with the river discharge. On the right hand side, you will find some very useful uh, tools for your uh, data. And the top one here is the support of the data. So if you have any troubles, if you have any questions, just email them directly and they will respond to your requests. You also have the license that you need to, to accept in order to download the data and also uh, the publication and references. You will also find other data sets which are related to this data so you can also quickly find other data sets which you want might be interested in. If you want to download the data there's different ways of doing this. So I'm going to show you now quickly how to use the form uh, that is on the download page. You can click in whatever you like here. For in this case, I'm going to look at December, 6th of December, 2020. I'm going to select all lead times and then I can submit my request. In order to request the data, you have to be registered and logged in. Now I have a user account, so this is my detail. So I can just directly log in. Once I'm logged in, I can now submit my form. And then you can see that it's been already uh, queued here for, for downloading. So I can see also my previous requests in, in this download page. There are many other ways of getting to the data. I'm not going to go through them now, but this is a very quick tutorial just to show you how it works. Um, on the documentation page, you will find more information about the Glofus system. And you also see the Glofus website. So here you can find more information on how to work with the data and how the, what the data represents. That was a very quick overview of the Glofus data and the Climate Data Store. I haven't shown you now other things like the toolbox where you can build your own applications and also other ways of accessing the data through an API. But I suggest you look at the website to familiarize with the data yourself.